Hello and welcome back to a new video. Now, Unreal Engine 5.5 is exciting and what makes me the most excited is Megalites because it allows me to explore projects that were impossible to explore in real time. This is a project we did in the past for virtual reality. We had baked lights. Here I have a thousand lights or something. Let's check on window and Mr. Light Mixer. Yeah, 1000 lights. Thanks to Mega Lights, I have double the performance. Go to Edit, Project Settings, put this here, go to Rendering, and you need to make sure that Hardware Ray Tracing is enabled. So scroll all the way down to where it says Hardware Ray Tracing, Support Hardware Ray Tracing, enable this, then let's search for Mega Lights. So here's my project with Mega Lights, and here is without. Let's enable mega lights again. And now, one easy way to select your lights is to select the light if they are organized. That's great. You can select all of them. But let's say you want to select all similar lights. So you can press Ctrl Shift A like this. And this will select all your lights like this. What I usually like to do is to isolate my selection like this. So in this case, I've selected my rectangular lights to select so many lights later like this and simply hold alt make a duplicate like this on another floor and put all these in new folders so of course every time you decide to select a collection and make a duplicate like this once you make that duplicate click click it will locate that for you right click and move to a new folder this will put your new lights in a new folder or what you can do if you want to avoid this so let's press ctrl z multiple times and now I will just go to the outliner in a self light mixer. Simply make here a new folder, hello, and right click, make this a current folder. And hold with the left mouse button to do this marquee selection. Just click and drag, and click and drag again. And notice how all the new duplicates are inside a new folder. The reason I'm showing you this because you might have a project and you might have very cool lights within that project and you may want to duplicate your lights so you select the folder put everything within a folder do this select the lights and now let's switch to some view like this you can select the ceiling of one floor or multiple floors i isolate my selection and to isolate your selection you need to set a shortcut for this so if you right click visibility i have these settings to set settings for shortcuts you go to edit editor preferences and here you can search for anything you want to set shortcut for so under the categories you can find something called general keyboard shortcuts i highly recommend customizing your workflow so now i have this selected i can select the wall and i can look for other floors for example now select the lights again go to a view like this and now when i click and drag i can place them in not really bad place so here you can see so click and drag now with alt and do that again and you can imagine if I had more lights, it will take me like 10 minutes to place them manually. Or if you're using something like 3ds Max, Revit, or SketchUp, you can place your lights and export them with DataMath. Thanks to an update like Mega Lights, I can finally go to 3ds Max, place my lights, and go back, go to DataMath, file import, select my lights, click open, select the location. So let's say click OK. Now we can finally do this. Thank you, Data. Oh, wow. It's just beautiful. This whole project was not possible before Mega Lights, just so you know, guys, okay? It was complete darkness with all these lights. They were all turned off because the performance were impossible for me to fly in this. So it was always daylight. And this is the first time I see it at night. Now, let me show you this. The magical moment here. It takes us time to go dark. And now if you do this, they all turn on. If I select all my lights, you select the data math scene actor, then press Ctrl Alt D, select immediate children in this case. And when you're selecting a folder, you can right click and go to select. Now, when you click your lights, you select all of them like this. You can isolate your selection or so deselect this actor. And since we have all the lights under selection, we have the settings. Now let's set this to 15 and let's set all their temperature to something like 
4,500. And give it a few seconds, maybe even more. And it's a process now or a matter of me placing the lights in their correct location. Now, imagine doing this, going back to your past projects, adding back the lights, if you've never considered adding the lights, using data math, export your lights, have fun, and let us see. I really hope you found today's lesson useful. If you did, let me know in the comments and stay tuned for more lessons. I'm really excited about the topic I want to cover. Imagine supercharging data math. That's where data prep comes in, or data prep. Anyway, I'll see you soon, guys. Take care.